How often do people really see the act of supply and demand in action? My understanding of how my economy works has now shifted after learning how many things I use on a regular basis and after I began to dig through the many steps, transactions, and processes to make its way to my everyday life. It begins with Adam Smith all the way back from 1759, introducing the revolutionary idea of the invisible hand, a hypothetical system on how results that benefit the economy are explained through each working class's need for self-benefit. An explanation of this constant amoral spontaneous outcome can be brought by either Say or Keynes. In 1803, Say invented his own law, his law being that the act of production itself creates demand by providing something worth value. This is known as Say's law. In the 1930s, Keynes also invented his own law. His law being that if the people have a unified want, production will come to provide or increase for that need for the sake of beneficial profit. A total opposite of Say's law. This is known as Keynes' law. Taking each of these economists into account, we begin to understand how the demand aspect works. We begin to understand how at the end of the day it comes down to price and or value. If there's a high price for a simple item such as a volleyball, even if a volleyball fanatic such as myself is in need of a new volleyball, the high price would inevitably deter me. Meanwhile, if there's a sale or a lower price for a volleyball, I would be inclined to buy that one for the sake of cost efficiency. But obviously it isn't as simple as that. The demand fluctuates on a person's overall well-being. Even if they're rich, then they could be obviously manipulated into buying trendy items. Decrease in demand happens when those trends dissipate and when customers realize that they come to lose money. This increase and decrease makes the invisible hand a bit more visible. The fact that purchases aren't only based on one's need, but also one's ability to buy. These transactions are also included within the process of making everyday items. Transactions of materials, machinery, employee income, overall manufacturing, and packaging. After these transactions, these items are sold to stores and lastly, to you. For entertainment, food, transportation, for each and every item. In summary, economists have brought the everyday transactions the world is brought to live along with, along with the items that are manufactured to one's desire. Depending on how you use those items is purely up to you.